Look, shoot a gang, go pull up. Hit him, told bro, don't stop, go get him. I be round round with the god, no chingin'. No, your chain get snatched if you blingin'. You know you ain't shooting, got a gun, why you bringin'? I don't niggas that'll kill for a living. Better keep quiet, you ain't down for the drilling. <laughs> Drive what up? This. Alright, <clears throat> let me turn off this motherfucking heat. It's too goddamn hot. Alright, let's go. Alright, man, it's your boy, Mr. Long, back with another video. Fresh off the wake up. Come on, man. And I got all this energy fresh off the wake up, man. Because I'm excited to make a video for my boys. The Long family. We about to hit a thousand subs. You already know. We at like 969. Come on, man. Or 959. One of the two. Either way, nonetheless, we, we about to hit 1K. So, Long family, we about to hit 1K. And we about to take over YouTube. But let's get into the video. Enough of me babbling. Today, I want to bring to y'all a video about stamina management. This is for the noobs. I see y'all commented talking about, Mr. Long, how do you conserve all your stamina? You know, how do you get to the third round and the fourth rounds with uh, more than half half bar of stamina? You're, you're so good, Mr. Long. Man, I'm like, yo, bro, y'all doing too much. Just if you paying close attention, you will see in the damn videos, you will see exactly how I'm fighting, how I'm conserving my stamina. So y'all asking some dumb questions. I ain't going to lie, but here we go. First things first, stop throwing so many goddamn strikes. Why y'all throwing so much? Y'all are too eager to get a knockout in the first round, bro. Y'all seen Conor McGregor do it, and y'all seen Masvidal do it, and y'all think y'all could come in the game and do the same thing. It's not going to work, bro. It's not. First things first, stop throwing so many goddamn strikes, bro. You're not going to get a knockout first round. You're not. Because if you're watching this video, you pretty damn ass at the game because this, this is some simple ass shit. You ain't gonna get no damn knockout first round, bro. Relax. Stop throwing so much. And old jokes aside, um, <clears throat> try not to throw unless your stamina bar is full. Y'all see the yellow bar at the top. When I dash, it goes down. When I throw, it goes down. Don't throw when it's like this. This is gonna kill you, bro. Most of y'all already know this, but try not to do this right here, bro. You see how he's moving like a fucking zombie. Don't do this. Wait till your shit get back up. Block. And then you throw. You know what I'm saying? Look at his stamina already, bro. And Conor McGregor's a fat ass anyway, so. All right. Next thing. Next important tip. This same thing I just told you, it applies to the ground as well. When you got somebody on the ground, try. I don't, I'm not going to talk a lot about ground game on this because I'm not a grappler. And I don't like the grappling in this game. I'm a striker. But since the same thing applies on the ground, try not to throw too many strikes when your stamina is low on the ground, like them elbows, if you got some money in a dominant position, or try not to transition when your stamina bar is not full. You feel me? When if that yellow bar is not full, try try to wait, you feel me? All right, next tip. This is a very important tip in terms of conserving your stamina. Protect your body, bro. Try not to get hit in the body at all costs. Block that shit, bro. All right, man, we back. Niggas came in here interrupting me and shit. But what was I talking about? Body, right? Yeah. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Make sure you protecting your body. Block your body. Because honestly, when you getting punched in your stomach and getting kicked in your stomach, that shit is doing a lot of damage to your stomach, to your body health. And then it's killing your stamina. And especially if you get hit while you throwing the strike, if you get hit in your stomach, bro, Oh, you're going to feel that shit. Your character's going to be like, ooh. You feel me? He's going to he gonna stop for a little bit like that Minecraft shit. Ooh. ooh. You feel me? So protect your body at all costs, bro. Those kicks, those knees, watch out for them. There's a lot of people that like coming out here, spamming them fucking knees, bro. That shit kills your body, health, and your stamina, bro. It's going to kill you. All right, next tip. Try not to whiff strikes. This is very important right here, bro. Be careful with the strikes that you're throwing, especially when you're throwing these the body kicks and these head kicks. You don't want to whiff. Look at his stamina, bro, when I miss a kick. Look at that shit. First of all, it takes it down from me initially throwing the kick. And then when it follows through and doesn't hit him, it takes more stamina, bro. You're, that shit taxes your stamina, bro. This is going to take a toll on your stamina when you completely miss a kick. So be careful with these kicks that you're throwing, bro. Even light kicks kill your stamina, too, if you miss. Make sure you up close or in kicking range. Make sure you predicting your opponent's moving patterns. Catch him when he's coming in. Boom. Body kick. 
You know what I'm saying? Catch him when he's unpredictable head kick. Mix it in with your strikes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, so I'm, I said fucking mixing that shit in with my strikes, but boom. I need more practice my damn self. I ain't perfect. But yeah, don't whiff. Especially when you're throwing these heavy strikes right here. Like this too. Oh my. You miss, you miss, you whiff an overhand, bro. <laughs> Forget about it. But this plays into the next tip, and that is to throw more body strikes. Now, if you whiffing a lot, if you sit in here just headhunting, mm, 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 just only throwing strikes to the head, one, you're predictable as hell. Your opponent, all he has to do is stay in there and do this, bro. Just hold RT or R2. He's going to block every single one of your strikes, bro. You're not going to be doing shit to him. You might be able to break through his block. But that's not an effective way to fight. Only bums fight like that just sitting there trying to break the opponent's block all day. What you want to do is be unpredictable. You switch from body to head, head to body. You're unpredictable, one. And two, you use less stamina when you connect. If you hit a po your opponent and he's blocking your strikes and slipping your strikes because you're only headhunting, you're losing a whole bunch of stamina, bro. But when you're connecting with combos like this, switching from body to head, Mm, like that you're using yeah that those situations you can throw while your while your yellow bar is low because you're connecting it's not going to take that much of your stamina away you, you're connecting with him but when you're sitting here throwing combos and you're and you're missing like this terrible bro that's terrible that's going to destroy your stamina bro so like i said bro don't only headhunt go to the body too you're going to conserve a lot of stamina that way and two, you're going to destroy his stamina as well. When you connect into the body, especially when you're slipping and, and connecting, slipping and ripping to the body, a lot of people do not do that right there, bro. That's that's very unpredictable right there. A lot of people slip and then throw that straight down the middle or slip and throw that hook. But yeah, you slip and throw a body uppercut or a body hook like that. Oh my God. That's And you catch him while he just threw a strike, bro. You're going to kill his his body health and his stamina, bro. It's going to destroy that man. The last advantage of doing that right there, if you're losing stamina in the fight, just think about it like this. If he's connecting with body strikes and you whiffed a couple times and your stamina is kind of low, if you're doing this as well, you're lowering his stamina too. So at least it's an even playing field, you feel me? At least it's not just you with half a bar of stamina and him with full stamina. It's going to be both of y'all with half, you feel me? So at least you're not at a disadvantage. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the video. I wanted to make it, keep it short and sweet and make sure y'all got the point. And I'm just trying to help y'all noobs one step at a time, you feel me? If you nice at the game, you long family. If you a noob, you long family. It don't matter, bro. I fuck with all of y'all, man. Everybody that show me love, I show y'all love, man. One love, man. Nah, <laughs> mahala at y'all. God bless, man. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. And make sure y'all washing y'all hands, man. Keep your mask on and keep your cheeks tight. And keep your doors locked that night. Bars, nigga, I'm out.